Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. This one's going to be a little different. I'm going to be comparing the Wendy's chili that you can buy in the store. We bought this one at Walmart for $4.42. It's just a can of the Wendy's chili to a large Wendy's chili from the restaurant. I just went and picked this up and just got in the door and I'm going to try it out. So I don't know how much uh, weight wise this one is, but well, I know how much it weighs with the container, but um, the this one was $3.49 for the large chili from the from the restaurant. Like I said, the can is $4.42. This one is a 15 ounce can or 425 grams. This one from the restaurant with the container and the lid is also 15 grams. So I think that was fairly, fairly interesting. My guess is this one's probably closer to 14 grams. If I had to guess, um, just, you know, probably adds another gram or uh, ounce, I'm sorry. This one's 15 ounces. This one's also 15 ounces, but it probably adds another ounce for the container. So it's probably the liquid itself is probably only about 14 ounces. So, um, so this one's definitely more expensive for all, I mean, uh, cheaper. Yeah. The can is definitely more expensive for about the same, um, amount, um, as far as that's concerned. So I wanted to pour them out and let you see what they look like. Normally you would just eat this right out of the container, but calorie wise too, um, the large chili from the restaurant, this one is three, 340 calories, whereas the canned chili is, the whole can is 200, I mean, uh, 470 calories. So it is uh, more calories as well. So again, this one's from the restaurant. Still good and hot. Kind of see what, what is there. Okay, I have to get a can opener for the other one. I'll be right back. Okay, got, got my can open. Um, it looks a little like more orange, whereas the, the one from the restaurant is more red, but it's also not heated up yet. So I'm gonna have to go throw it in the microwave to heat it up, of course. And they only have this, as far as I know, with beans. So, um, so let me just show you the calories. It is 280 calories per cup or 470 calories for the whole can. And like I said, the, the large chili from the restaurant is 340 calories. And does it have heating directions? There's the other info if you want it as well. So it does have stovetop and microwave. Of course, stovetop, you just heat it up. Microwave, you're gonna pour it into a microwave safe dish, cover and microwave for one and a half minutes or until hot, um, stirring halfway through and let stand. So that's, that's about it. This is distributed by ConAgra. Yeah. So anyway, wow, that's a lot of sodium. 17, 1,720 milligrams of sodium in the can. It's probably about the same for that one. But anyway, I'm going to go heat this one up in the microwave. I'll be right back. All right. So here is the can one and it does splatter. So make sure you're covered up really well. I do have to say there looks like it's a little thicker and there's more stuff in the can. Whereas this is the restaurant one. It's a little thinner. Um, it doesn't seem to have quite as much stuff and I mean, it's still pretty full, but anyway, so I'm going to take this over the table and we'll give it a try. All right. So I'm going to try the one at the restaurant first. Um, not only will that give the other one time to cool off, but it's, it's been sitting a little bit longer, um, to cool off. So the, um, like I said, it's not quite as much stuff in there. Color wise, the, um, the can one it kind of started out orange, but as you heat it up, I guess the oils and the grease and stuff. Um, melted down so it's more of a darker like a dark red uh, whereas the the one from the restaurant is more of a tomato red um, so there is a different flavor a different color as well well wow, this kidney beans are huge good flavor it's got some spice in the back of your throat like a good chili should Quite a bit of ground beef in there. Um, the textures are good on everything. Everything's well cooked. The hamburger is not that really fine, finely ground hamburger you get in some chilies, which I don't care for. It's like the Skyline and the, uh, um, there's another one. Is it Gold Star? One of those. I know Skyline's got it. It's a really finely grained, it's almost like sand. The, the ground beef is ground up so finely. I don't like that. I like it a little bit chunkier. This is nicer because it is chunkier. Flavor's good. 
you get a nice um, tomato flavor, you get beans, and plenty of uh, the ground beef in every bite. So it's really, really good. So, like I said, it's got that chili spice um, kind of hitch in the back of your throat. It gives you a little, uh, a little burn of uh, spices. So let's try the, the, the canned version. And like I said, it's a little thicker semen. At least it seems that way. I don't, we'll see. It doesn't have as many of the, it doesn't look like it has as many of the kidney beans, the red ones. It looks like it has more of just the brown beans, like a pinto bean. You get that very similar flavor. I think it's got some of the same spices in it, but it doesn't hit in quite the same way. Texture wise, they're very, very similar to each other. So uh, you get the bigger chunks of ground beef, you get the beans, um, you get the onions. I'll tell you what's hitting a little differently is the, um, that burn I was talking about for the restaurant version. You get that little tingle in the back of your throat. I don't get really that at all with the canned version. Um, it has a nice chili powder flavor, don't get me wrong. It's very uh, strong chili flavor, but um, it just doesn't have that tingle that you get uh, with the other one. Let me, let me try another bite of the restaurant. It also seems just a touch sweet. But the restaurant weather does too, to be fair. Tomatoes coming through, onions. Yeah, I get that little burn in the back of my throat with the restaurant one. So I don't know if they've maybe tried to do the canned version a little safer for more people. And it almost has like a, a little bit of a smoky flavor in the canned version that you don't necessarily get on the restaurant one. Maybe it's like a smoked paprika, or I don't know. Well, I truly think you would be happy if you are a Wendy's chili lover and you get it at the restaurant all the time and you want something a little bit more convenient for home um, where you don't have to go out and get it and, and do all that stuff. I think you'll be very happy with the home version, the canned version. My only complaint, like I said, it's not really a complaint, it's just a, a, something I noticed, is the um, the restaurant style does give you a little bit more of a kick in the back of your throat, whereas the canned version, you don't get that burn. Um, don't get that pepper, that chili powder kind of like tingle in the back of your throat. Um, <clears throat> you do get crackers from the restaurant, so they give you these little windy saltines, which I never eat saltines in anything. I don't like saltines, but they do give you some if you want them. Um, I didn't, they didn't, I actually didn't even ask for them, they just gave them to me. Um, the restaurant will also ask you if you want cheese on your chili, so you can get cheese on it. Of course, at home, you can just sprinkle your own cheese on there. Um, Cost-wise, the can is a little bit more than a large chili at Wendy's, and they look like they're very similar as far as the, the amount goes. I think the one from the restaurant is slightly less, so it's probably a couple ounces less, but not a huge difference. But uh, the price is almost a dollar more when you buy the can. And the can's also, what, a hundred and some calories more? Um, yeah, 340 versus 270. So the can version is a hundred and what, 30, 130 calories more, but you are getting more chili in the, in the can as well. So I guess it just balances out a little bit. It's probably just a little, just a little bit more in the can one way or the other. Um, overall, both of them are pretty good. I would give both of them probably a four out of five. Chili from a restaurant is really not something I, I go towards. Um, I, I usually don't buy restaurant chili. I'd much rather have Tammy's homemade chili. It's much better. But um, but for a restaurant chili, I think these are pretty good. I definitely worth uh, trying out if you've never had them before and you like chili. Um, you can definitely get them. Like I said, they're not super hot, spicy uh, chilies. They're not really like um, red hot sauce chilies. But um, the restaurant was a, just a little bit more spicy than the canned version. Overall, pretty good. I like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.